Some guy say name. Boo. From Crossfire Collectibles. What's up guys, welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be opening an older set. And uh, we got a couple more things lined up to do today. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, share, subscribe for future content. And uh, here's what we're getting to today. This is the Marvel first 10 years, Marvel Legends, Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket two pack. So this hit a few years ago and um, never picked it up, but we did because mainly because I want the little ant man little yellow jacket and i need a yellow jacket from my marvel legends shelf um as you can see with the background we're kind of rearranging a little bit so we're missing the shelf currently that's okay we're getting back into it so uh without further ado we're going to go ahead and dig in and see what all this is about trusty dusty commit <laughs> Them. So you have Ant-Man, Yellow Jacket, and also comes with little mini versions of them, and a Paul Rudd head. Kind of weird that it doesn't come with a Yellow Jacket head, yeah. but I mean, still pretty cool. Maybe you can still see his detail from in there, but it does come with the little Yellow Jacket, little Ant-Man, which are very tiny. Yeah. Or even a Darren Cross head. Yeah. I don't think they need to because he's apparently got a very big head in the upcoming Quantum Mania. Wink, wink, wink. Start with the minis. Yeah. They're super minis. Remind me of micro machines. Alright, so here is the mini yellow jacket. Try to sort of get a close up on. And here is the mini tiny dude. The yellow jacket has this clawed backpack piece. There's a peg on it. These two thingies can move side to side. They don't really do much, but uh, get a tiny little bit. These have some pegs in them also that allow them to you know, swivel around. And you can bend these at these joints. We'll mess with that once we get it on. As I was saying, for, for an older figure, he looks, he looks pretty good. He does have uh, pins in the joints, so it's, like I said, he's an older figure. His ab crunch, waist swivel, thigh swivel, ankle pivot, double jointed knees and elbows, head is on a ball joint, and he's okay. He's not tight, but he's got normal normal posability. And um. He's going to show ahead and show you off Ant-Man. I'm going to figure out his backpack and get him set up in a way. I did want this Ant-Man too because he has the older helmet, which I like a lot more than the newer. Helmet. I'm not really cool with the more of like the, uh, it's, it's goofy looking. Just the front of it. I just, I just don't like it too much. Yeah, but now with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, we probably will get a new Ant-Man. So hopefully the mask does look pretty well on that figure. If not, you could probably switch out the head or something. But here is Ant-Man. Looks pretty cool. He does have pin technology because they are older figures again. Kind of the biker looking style of the suit. The new suit does look different. Has like the circle and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, he looks pretty cool. He doesn't come with no extra hands. He does come with a Paul Rudd head. So we'll put that on. But um, the posability is pretty good. Double jointed arms that far. Double jointed legs that far. I mean, you can, you can get him into some action type poses you want to put him in like a karate kick through the air oh yeah so i mean <laughs> but, so, i mean that's pretty cool get him doing the splits he is a little loose but i mean he has an older figure so i mean nothing i can really do about that but i am going to go in and put the paul rudd head on him 
and then show you what he looks like with that. So we're just gonna pop that off. Pop that on. For an older style head, the head does look pretty good. The mold, um, just the forehead is huge. I mean, that looks like Paul Rudd, but the older hairstyle, or the older type Marvel Legend hair isn't that good, but I do like the new one better, but still good head sculpt for an older figure. It does look a little big, but I mean, he still looks pretty cool. He comes with just two gripped hands on there, so you can kind of have him like itching his head or something, or I know he doesn't hold his helmet, but you can, you can have him like scratching his head, holding his helmet. The helmet doesn't really stay there that well, but you, but I know he does like push a button, then it like extends over or something. But I mean, you can have him holding it if you want, but yeah. other than that, it's still pretty cool. So I went ahead and set up Yellow Jacket like this, kind of like in a little fight pose. You know, just like, come on, come on, come at me. So this claws up a little, little goofy. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but for now, it works like that. Yeah, he looks cool. I like him. Oh, yeah. That's that yellow you know the vibrant colors are popping out and you got the black and it's like just sinking into the rest of it pretty decent yeah. but yeah we figured um i'd get go ahead and do a little short video on these pop these open show them off you know the original ant-man movie ant-man and darren cross yellow jacket uh that's going to do it for this one like i said it's gonna be a short video just to show these two off so uh we'll just go ahead and end it with that and take it away Guys, did you enjoy this video? Make sure to leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe to the bunch case is you know for this video. Make sure to check us out and follow us on social media. See y'all in the next one. Peace.